All right, so today we're returning back to the Cherry J1 cars um, and a new fault that has um, developed uh, with my little Cherry. I've already fixed the problem, so I thought I'd make a video to help other people out that uh, are experiencing this problem. So in the previous video I made about this car, we were having a problem where the car had just simply lost power and it wasn't um, under certain conditions driving around on the roads the car would just lose power and and like the, the car wouldn't go above idle unless we um, pumped the accelerator so um, and the problem turned out to be something really quite simple but it's actually going to be because of the way it's the, the faulty part is made it's going to be a common problem with every single owner of uh, the small cherry j1 cars so let's just um uh, get into it and we'll uh, show you so we'll go take it for a drive and i'll show you what happens all right, so we're in the car, we're just off in a side street now, and if you look at the rev counter on this car, it's idling at about, I think about uh, 850 cycles. Um, now the red lights on the, um, the tachometer there, they're for a completely different fault that I'll be making another video in the future about. Um, so the condition is is that we're pulled over and we're going to take off and start driving so foot off the brake and we go and the car takes off normally nice revs everything's great so this problem um i don't know if it's an issue just with cherry cars or if it's with all brand new cars uh, manual brand new cars um, so you, you'll be at a standstill and you'll go to take off and you'll release the clutch out and then you'll put your foot down on so we're going to take off we're accelerating but there's just nothing there so you go to accelerate and nothing happens course today it's going to work fine for us so yeah you're taking off and there's just nothing happening all right so we're back stationary so what's happening is when the um, when you go to take off from a stationary position um, and you take your foot off the brake you, you start to accelerate down and then you start to lift the clutch out all at the same time um, what's happening is is that the brake is not turning off so you'll come around to the back of the car and we only noticed this at night time um, all the brake lights were still turned on so you've, you've got your foot off the brake the uh, brake lights are still lit up and what that then does is because the ECU in the car still assumes you've got the brake applied um, when you go to accelerate it won't accelerate it just stays um, in with the, the motor idling and then you know because you haven't realized there's a problem with the brake switch well there isn't actually a problem with the brake switch it's the problem is with a piece of rubber so if you look around on the floor down here on the car you may find a little white or clear piece of circular rubber somewhere on the floor you may have hopped in the car one day before this problem started happening and you might have noticed what's this strange bit of you know circular rubber about yay big down here on the floor before you got no idea where it's come from 
or where that sits is that sits up and under so if we get under if I can get it into focus so where, where, where are we so here's the brake here and we go up here to where the switch is right up so that's the brake we're following it up and right up here is where I've actually fixed it you can see here so this is the brake switch can't tell if that's in focus because my eyesight's not too good so that's the brake switch there so that's the brake switch there what happens is if I push that down you'll see that there's a a brown rubber stopper there that I've now applied so on all cherry cars I don't think it's just the J1 on this little tongue here there is a hole going through the tongue and Cherry pushes a little rubber stopper through that and then that what that means is that instead of the metal tongue there pushing against the brake switch to turn the brakes off and on you've got the rubber stopper there cushioning the switch off and on now what happens is that rubber stopper uh, over time decays and it falls out and that creates a whole myriad of problems with the car that's really hard to diagnose during daytime so the only reason I noticed this problem is because I was looking at the car at night in the dark because um, I desperately needed to get the car fixed so my son could drive himself to university um, work or whatever the hell we was going um, so yeah we discovered that that was the issue with the car so go check your cherries make sure that rubber stopper is in there if if you don't have um, you can't seem to buy that rubber stopper from cherry or there isn't really any point because you're just going to be putting a part in there that's going to fail again because the rubber is really weak and soft uh, yeah, so how I ended up solving the problem is because I'm a printer technician and I have thousands of wrecked printers I simply went and grabbed an old printer and I grabbed one of the rubber feet off of the bottom of a printer so different printers have different size rubber feet I simply peeled the rubber feet out and because the rubber feet already has double-sided sticky tape on it you can just simply take it back to the car uh, get back under the car and simply just push it back on to the tongue and there you go now your brake lights will be working properly and you won't have um, all these sort of weird problems with the car. Now what happens is if you don't notice that the your your brake lights aren't working properly again um, uh, what happens is you can also burn out the bulbs so if your brake lights have been <sighs> really gonna kill that bird if if your brake lights have been on for like 10 hours at a time the bulb can burn out and when it burns out it cascades and it short circuits and then what will happen is you'll find the car won't start so if you're, you've come out to your cherry car and you're finding that it's turning over but it won't, there's no spark and it won't start that can happen because of the rubber on the brake light are decaying and falling off so what happens is if 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 you haven't noticed that the brake lights have been on for you know 10-12 hours 
your battery may not necessarily be flat but the bulbs can burn out and then what happens is over here in the fuse box is that when that light bulb in the in the brake light um, fails it short circuits when it fails and it takes out the ECU uh, fuse so if we look at the fuse box so I get a good picture of this because this will probably come in handy because I don't think this information is easily available on the internet the interwebs so this is a Cherry J1 fuse box and you can see there what each of the fuses does so what will happen is if that rubber on the brake has failed the brake lights are staying on for 10 hours at a time uh, the bulb blows and it takes out the fuse here Now the car will kick over and it will crank but the car won't start because that fuse there is blown um, another fault that can happen that stops the cherry from starting is that if your mechanic has forgot to put this cover back on this fuse box repairing it one time and you end up getting leaves oh, I'm really gonna kill that bird and you get leaves piled up here um, what can happen is if you get a big downpour um, uh, like in, in Australia when it rains it can rain really quite hard it's not like in the UK where it just softly rains every hour of the day um, if you've got leaves piled up here the rain comes in water pools all along here and if your mechanic has forgot to put your cover back over the fuse box the water backs up here it overflows and it trickles straight into the fuse box and it will corrode all the connections underneath this fuse box um, just simply from leaves piling up here in this corner section um, I've seen that on another uh, customer's cherry car so if you go to your cherry J1 just check and make sure the cover is present on your fuse box And if it's not there, get this section covered somehow really quite quickly because in the next rain downpour, your fuse box can get wrecked and your car can just get ruined. Um, all right, so I think that's covered the problems today. Um, uh, yeah, so what, what you'll need to do is put a new fuse in on the ECU. Just check all the fuses while you're in there. Put in two new bulbs in the in the stoplights, um, plug in your OBD, ODB, OBD2 connector into the port which is in the glove box and just clear any fault codes um, and then uh, you, hopefully your car will start and um, you can then um, get on with your life basically so uh, yeah that's it for today's video I hope this video helps somebody out the last video I made had 400 views um, I'll put a link in the video somewhere to the previous problem that this car had um, so you know 400 views isn't a lot on a video but what that equals in my mind is that's 400 people somewhere in the world with a broken down car and they can't get on with their life so um, if this has helped you can help me by sending me a tip of any amount it helps me keep this channel running pay for my kids food and uh, for me to generally live basically so um, uh, the links below uh, just ignore the YouTube you know dollar thing there it, it just really is a pain in the ass there's a link below using PayPal um, uh, I'm helping you you help me I think that's what YouTube's all about so 
uh, yeah, any problems um, with your printers, you can also, my phone number's in the description there, I fix printers for a living. I do this, I've been doing this as a sideline since I was about 17. Um, and um, since I got my first car and I enjoy fixing things. And um, yeah, alright, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.